So here we are with one of the all-time great speakers on behalf of the 66 team, the Shadow, Neville Shedd. And first off, you look the same. It's like you never age. Hey, I tell you what, look good, feel bad. But you know, for this particular occasion, this is once again 50 years, I know. a half a century, you know, and the magnitude of what we accomplished such a long time ago, not just for the 12 individuals, you know, but for El Paso. You know, you talk, people talk about bragging rights. No one can talk and brag even better than we can about this team here because they can, they can always say we are, we, were, are, we are the only team, you know, for 50 years to ever start and to be a winner in a major college NCAA championship. Hey, we, when we talk about that, I, I, I feel so great that, you know, people during that era come up to us with their kids and say, see this guy right here, or see that guy over there? You know, they did this for us. And the kids be looking mesmerized because they, they're, you know, they're acquiring the history from their parents. You understand? And it just keeps going on and on. So many generations go by, you know? And, you know, it's amazing that they're, t you know, they're, uh, you know, we talk about UCLA's and the Dukes and the Kentuckys, they have, they have done great things, you understand? And they have movies and everything, but no matter how many times they present themselves, they can never carry the banner of the prestige and the history that we have. Because you can't talk about negative energy when it comes to Texas Western now, the University of Texas at El Paso. You can't talk, you know, uh, we don't have a history of not being given a second chance. Uh, you know, we've been there, you know. And when I came here from New York, of course, during that time, you know, segregation was at one of the highest parts. I came here a little cautious because my first year, I remember I went to a school in the South. and. I was not accustomed to the white, black, water fountains, all that kind of stuff. So that was in my spirit, and I was very cautious. But how El Paso people presented themselves to me, you know, it made me feel very comfortable, and it was easy to give back, you know, 100%. You know, playing for this man, Don Haskins, you understand? <laughs> you know, but I enjoyed it. And whenever I say I'm coming to uh, El Paso, this is coming home. You know, New York, El Paso, two different uh, places. But I tell you what, you can't beat it. Now, very serious question here, okay? We have the 66 Texas Western team on one side. Mm -hmm. We have the 64 Texas Western team on the other in a one-game winner-take-all at the peak of both teams' greatnesses. Who wins between the 64 minors and the 66 minors? I, I have to say 66. You know, I have to say 66 because, you know, you know, every coach has that quote-unquote special team, you know, and those 12 guys, you know, yes, he started the uh, seven Afro-Americans. That's just a number because, you know, Coach Haskins was always playing the individuals, you know, that he thought could get the job done. You know, his special team, what he did for the 66 versus the other team was nothing different. It was the individuals were playing. But we had just that type of a demeanor, you know, that wasn't if or when. We knew what we had to do. From one war to another war, we came in there knowing that we were not prepared, but we were properly prepared, you know, our character, and it showed. It showed right to that right to that game there. You know, uh, remember it wasn't even bolstering all that type of stuff. You know, it was strictly you know on point. And, but I think that was one of the best games in history because there wasn't any you know sports or negative animosity between the East. It wasn't the white versus the black. You know, it was Kentucky versus uh, Texas Western, and that's what Coach Haskins and Coach Rupp demanded from us. That's what made the game. But it definitely showed, you know, when we walked in that game, they knew that they had a problem. You know, not the cockiness, it's just how we handled ourselves on the floor. The other team, well, they, they were good too. That was just another great team. But the greater team was Texas Western 
on March 19, 1966. Nobody says it like that. The Shadow Neville Shed as we continue right here on the 600 ESPN El Paso YouTube channel.